Hola, it's Knitha the Diva, your YouTube video vixen. And today I am doing, I guess, a review or announcement of this book I found. I was watching Emily Noel here on YouTube, and she was talking about, I've heard about the book before, but I never actually saw it. Um, it's called Don't Go to the Cosmetics Counter Without Me. And it's by um, Paula, what's her last name? Bayon. She calls herself the cosmetics cop. So um, basically what it is is just a mini review on just about any cosmetic you can think of. Like, um, let's see. It has drugstore and high end in here. It's just in the ta table of contents. It also has uh, some talk about like uh, certain ingredients, like what they really mean. What, what did she call it? Something dictionary. Where is it in here? I just got this today. But, um, yeah, Cosmetic Ingredient Dictionary. And it will just, like, go over, like, here, I'll just say one. Uh, I can't pronounce most of these words. <laughs> okay, triglyceride. Used as an emollient and thickening agent in cosmetics. See, glycerol ester and natural moisturizing factor. So, um, it'll tell you, like, if you're curious what the ingredients mean in most com um, common ingredients in cosmetics, as well as your cosmetics that you use. Um, for instance, if you use, let's see, what do I have right here in front of me? Something I know. Okay, CoverGirl. You know, you can look up CoverGirl Clean Makeup. It tells you how much, $4.99. And uh, it'll give you a brief brief speak about it whether she feels it's good or not um she also has a disclaimer in here saying you know her opinions may not be the same as everyone else's um but also she did base a lot of her opinions some of them i'm not so sure if she tried them but she's basing it off of the ingredients um that are in it and telling you yes this would be good for your skin or maybe not no it wouldn't because she does a lot of uh skin care as well as makeup in here but I'm really excited about my book. And guess what, you guys? It's only $5 right now. This is the seventh edition. See, the eighth edition is coming out very soon, um, which those of you who have ever gone to college know that a book's editions normally have very few differences. And I was actually looking up stuff that just recently came out. Um, for instance, like uh, right now I'm using a L'Oreal... Uh, skin Genesis um, line and I looked in here and she had everything except for the eye cream in here you know which um, actually on her website polishchoice.com she even talks about uh, how eye creams are really unneeded but we think they are needed which is odd because I even use an eye cream and honestly sometimes I kind of go like it just feels like thick lotion sometimes they don't even feel thick <laughs> you know so um, she was explaining exactly what's the difference if there is any and so I liked her website so when I saw her on Emily Noel I checked out the website and then I said you know what I'm gonna go get the book so I liked it because um, it's only five dollars three dollars shipping um, if you get the seventh edition because the eighth edition is coming out so and that one will be I think like $29.95 or was it $39.95 I'm not sure but that one will be a lot more expensive whereas I think having one edition late eight dollars versus thirty or forty dollars hmm, I'm gonna go with the one edition late because she still has fairly new products um but yeah maybe if you're more of a makeup artist or someone who has to stay current on cosmetics then yeah okay maybe it's more worth it for you but if you're kind of like me who it's more of a hobby yeah then this should be fun anyway I just want to tell you guys about it uh, go and get it while you can um, whenever I find good deals I like just to let you guys know so <laughs> I'll see you guys next time don't forget to rate comment and subscribe and I will catch you next time bye bye